Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Gotham Knights video, and today what I got for you guys is even more details about this game. We got a hint as to the length of the story mode in Gotham Knights, as well as some more details about the online co-op in the game. Then on top of that, we got a potential tease at Poison Ivy and some new concept art that shows off Batgirl's suit. But before we get into everything, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy this video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support, and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. Also, if you're new here and you're looking forward to Gotham Knights, I'll have you covered. I'm going to be making videos on everything you need to know. News, updates, trailers, gameplay, my reactions to them, the whole nine yards. If you want to stay up to date on everything Gotham Knights, I got your back. So if you'd like to, you can subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. And with all that being said, let's jump into this. Okay, so the first order of business comes from the Gotham Knights social media pages as they've been still very actively tweeting new stuff for us to see from this game. The first of which comes from a couple of days ago in which they tweeted out a concept art piece for the game and the caption for it said, even our knights need a coffee break, and this is for hashtag coffee day. So you're seeing the concept art on screen right now, and anybody who's a Bat fan immediately sees a neon green sign known as Pamela's Cafe Diner. And this could just be nothing, and we're all just looking too far into this, but a lot of people have pointed out that maybe this is a tease for Pamela Isley aka Poison Ivy. Even if it isn't a tease for Poison Ivy, which it most likely isn't, it's still cool to see that the folks at WB Montreal are showcasing some of the things that they're working on for Gotham Knights. They aren't just revealing the game and going social media silent until next year when they have more to say. No, they've been doing interviews, answering questions, showing off new screenshots. It's been really great to see, and I know eventually we're probably going to get to a point where there isn't too much more for them to share, and we're going to have to wait a little while, but still, Right now, I feel like we've been getting consistent news from this game. Next up though, we're talking about some more concept art as these social media pages for Gotham Knights showcased a full look at the suit that Batgirl has in the game, or at least the base suit that she'll be wearing before you kind of customize the character. And all this comes from a new initiative that they launched a couple of weeks ago known as Hashtag Knighthood, which is described as follows. Join the Hashtag Knighthood. Now it's your turn. Show us your creations around Gotham Knights using that hashtag and your your work could be featured in our upcoming collections. All different types of art will be considered, including fan art, cosplay, sculptures, and more. Then following up on this, just yesterday, they posted a piece of concept art of Batgirl's base suit, which you're seeing on screen right now, and I'm assuming this was posted to kind of help out cosplayers. You know, they zoom in on all the specific pieces of the suit, the gloves, the shoes, the mask, all that fun stuff. And I do like Batgirl's base suit in this game. I love the colors. I love the comic booky style of it. It very much fits the aesthetic of Gotham Knights. That being said though, the one she wears in the actual demo they showcase with the white eyes on the cowl is so much better. It looks amazing. Regardless of that though, this is an awesome initiative to get the community involved in creating some really fun art for the game. There's been a ton of fan art created for Gotham Knights already, which I've seen a lot of the folks at WB Montreal retweeting or posting on their socials, which has been great. I'm now looking forward though to see what these cosplayers are going to be up to. Moving on though, now let's talk about some news that we got about the story length of the game and some additional hints as to what you can do in the online co-op of Gotham them nights. And this comes from an article that was written over at Respawn First. However, it's all taken from the latest PlayStation magazine that'll be coming in November. And as per usual, Patrick Redding, the creative director working on the game at WB Montreal, was the one answering questions to PlayStation magazine in which we then got these details from. And so this is what Patrick Redding had to say about the main story for the game. The reason we went for a mystery sort of structure for our main story is that it isn't something that you just grind through over a weekend. It's something where you uncover a piece of it and you get a chance to explore that piece. It has implications, it changes the world, and then you kind of have to go and do detective legwork in order to get access to what that next piece is going to be. So it really is a mystery arc. And so with the courts, the things start out as one thing and they definitely end up somewhere else. I'm really intrigued by the way that they're describing the story of Gotham Knights because it's sounding like this mystery that isn't just going to be solved by playing the next mission. To elaborate on that, the way that this is being explained to me makes it sound like you aren't just gonna play one mission and then the following one is unlocked. It's gonna create a mystery in which you then have to go out into Gotham, 
find the next clue, which then unlocks the next mission. Maybe I'm looking too much into this, but if it does end up being the case, then that's a really creative way to play through a narrative. And if you're not going to be looking at guides, well then yeah, it's not going to be something you can just speed run through. In due time, we'll find out exactly what Patrick Redding means here, but until then, I'm very excited. And then moving on, once again, we get some information reiterated to us about the GCPD. Patrick Redding says, I think what was important for us, especially because this is a new guard of heroes, is that they don't have a friendly GCPD. They have a GCPD that's post Jim Gordon, that's hostile to mass vigilantes running around. Again, information that we've already known about. We know that after the death of Jim Gordon, the GCPD hasn't been entirely kind to the mass vigilantes, and that even included Batman before his death. And in my video breaking down all the villains we know of so far in Gotham Knights, I break down the fact that you can see an owl on that GCPD badge from the reveal trailer. So the Court of Owls have probably infiltrated that too. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is a paraphrased quote from Patrick Redding that's put in this article in which they say that Patrick Redding mentioned that the game is going to have a unique untethered co-op experience which should make it great for people that are playing together and what I'm assuming that means is that there isn't going to be this feature in which if you're a certain amount of distance away from your teammate it'll then automatically bring you together or make it so that you can't go any farther. As an untethered co-op experience, you can both be on opposite ends of the open world in Gotham Knights. At least that's what I'm getting from the quote. I don't know for sure. What I wonder is in this untethered experience, if I enter a story mode mission and we're playing co-op and my teammate is halfway across the map, can they still be doing whatever it is that they're doing halfway across the map or will a loading screen pop up and they'll be immediately thrusted into the story mission that I've started? We'll just have to wait and see, but I am so hyped about Gotham Knights. Ever since the reveal and everyone's initial reaction to it, all the news, all the screenshots, all the interviews that has been done has just gotten more and more people on board with this game. And considering what we saw was just the pre-alpha footage, it's only going to end up looking better, probably playing better, and I just can't wait till this game comes out. But with all that being said, I now want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section below. First of all, what do you think about that cafe diner? Is it a hint to Poison Ivy? I'd also love to hear your thoughts on the base suit for Batgirl in the game and that concept art that was shown off on these social media pages for Gotham Knights, as well as your thoughts on that interview that was done between PlayStation Magazine and Patrick Redding. With all that said, of course, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.